Hi, this is Chad with Data Springs. I just wanted to highlight dynamic login for .NET Nuke and show you some of the great features that are part of this module. Uh, first of all, for more information and for a full detail of all enhancements and all features, you can visit datasprings.com. Today I just wanted to spend a few minutes for highlighting some of the major features that dynamic login can offer. I'm going to start by showing you from logging in through your website how you can create many distinct different look and feels for your, uh, for your login page. So if you take a look at this page right here, you'll see that this is dynamic login. Uh, we got to this page by clicking on the login link and now we're presented with a very different and distinct layout for the login. We also um, are using a feature that's just a checkbox inside the module to allow the user to log in using their username or their email address. So we've noted that within the template. And we're using some image buttons instead of the links. These are all features that are easily able to be added. So what we'll do now is we will go ahead and log in using our email address. After we're signed in, <clears throat> we will go ahead and show you guys uh, some interesting features that go along in the back end of the login page. So, within the login page you have many features. One of the features is to be able to easily manage the template. Uh, actually, the, the login template we were using on that page was right here. So it says, you know, you may now use your login email address. You can change this. This is a full what you see is what you get editor where you can plug in these tokens. There might be times where you want the password to be up here, or you, want, you might not want to display the label. Maybe you just want to display um, uh, the, the username text box. Many different features with this template, and it's the only module that I know of that's out there where you can actually have just a plug-and-play access to your login page. Very, very unique. Um, there's some other features that we will highlight here, uh, including watermarks and the ability to maybe not show those items in the template. As I was just showing you on this page, this is using a dynamic login instance with very, very few items on the page, and it's also using the watermark feature and uh, a background image. These are features that you can easily enable here to show the background for text boxes. That is something you can modify within the style sheet. You can change the button types if you wanted to display image buttons or link buttons, um, you can change the style sheet. Uh, you can also uh, force SQL queries during uh, to maybe add additional logging or all kinds of other features. Some other features I would like to highlight <coughs> is that you can redirect the users based on security roles and display a specific message to them. Uh, there's priorities here in case you set up multiple redirections by multiple security roles. So maybe if a user is signing in with a security role of California, they go to one page, and if a user is signing in with a security role of Florida, they would go to a different page. You might also want to display an additional message to that user during the sign-in process and let that user know that um, uh, you know whatever is tied to that security role. Um, a few other features that are great to highlight. <clears throat> you, you have some very standard, you know, it's great to be able to restrict by IP address. Um, it's great to be able to notify individual users um, with an email address when they sign in. Um, you can also enable single sign-on between different portals in your .NET Nuke installation. This means that if a user is signing into portal C and they are part of portal B, um, uh, they can go ahead and register them as a valid user. Um, so many features to highlight, all managed in one unique control panel. You don't have to have multiple modules or multiple areas. Um, I think the final thing that I'll highlight <clears throat> before we conclude today's feature highlights video is just that Dynamic Login also supports full content localization. So what I mean by that is you have a full ability to have a template within your dynamic login module and you can see here we're making use of those watermark features um, but we're also making use of something that that is set up when your site has multiple languages so as I switch between French Danish <coughs> Dutch you, what you start to see within these is that you can have different login pages 
displaying completely different login look and feels, all um, based on the language that the user has selected within .NET New. Um, so from here, we will go ahead and uh, uh, end this feature highlight video. I appreciate it. Thanks.